Hey everyone, welcome to Aether Gazer, and we're going to be talking about the Aether Code. So, if you're not familiar with the Aether Code, they are part of your uh, modifier. So, don't be confused with the terms. So, your characters are called modifiers, and they have codes. Okay, take note. Take note about codes. At, at the start, if you guys are still starting off with the game, you will be unlocking all of the codes as soon as you meet a certain criteria. So I still have a character here that uh, hasn't been unlocked. So as you can see here, there are certain qualifiers that you need to uh, reach so that you could unlock this. Like this one, it's, un it's uh, actually at 76 then i can unlock this one so let's open this oh aether it, unlock the aether code before it okay so you need to unlock the shadow chaser so again all of the codes that you have per character is going to be unlocked as soon as you level them up don't worry because as uh, based on my experience you're going to be unlocking the codes once you level up your character going through the skills um and all of the things that you need to upgrade your character if you go through them if you haven't gone through my video for fast progression please take a look at that i will put a link um in the description <laughs> so that you can check out that video link for fast progression so for the codes guys you have three main codes that you'll be unlocking first. So I'll just have to remove all of this imprint first. The first three codes that you'll be unlocking is these three. It's usually the central codes. It's the same for all, um, you know, for all characters. As you can see here, um, there are three central codes. And your three central codes roughly have a specialty so this one the specialty in the branches pertain to seal of thunder which is actually uh corresponding to a ability which is seal of thunder so if you can um see uh, see enemies hit get seal of thunder so you have to make sure that once you check or once you select a code you are actually favoring that certain skill or ability in their skills okay so this one favors seal of thunder this one however is favoring ardent of light which is an ability again and this one is favoring um this is more of crit rate although seal, seal of thunder is here this leg is pertaining it's actually still st Seal of Thunder damage. So, again, uh, you have to make sure that when you choose a... Um, when you imprint, basically imprinting is connecting three uh, codes. So, at first, you'll be imprinting these three to start because these are the ones that you have available to you. Once you unlock the rest, you can actually check or connect others. So... You can actually opt to connect all of the reds together. So imprint all. So all of the reds uh, will give you a different effect. Also, just going to remove this. If you want to imprint all of the yellows as well, you can connect them here. All of these will be activated. As you can see, once you have it activated, it will appear here. All of the things that you just imprinted if you go back to adjust and if you go to remove this again and if you want to activate all of the blues you also have it here so this is crit rate this is more for damage this is more of crit rate and damage and up here uh if you want to remove this so there's a theme actually per color. So if you want to imprint on the top, then you will have these three heels. This, this again is more on the Seal of Thunder buff. 
or additional to the Seal of Thunder. So it's really up to you on which do you want to take. You want to take all reds, all blues, all yellows, or you can also take two reds and one blue. So the imprint is actually going to be uh, one of Witness of World and two of Ruler of Night. So again, depending upon your choice or preference on which skill or which ability or which stat do you want to prioritize, it, it actually depends on build. I won't give you guys a suggestion on what to use, but for me, this if for Shinri... For Shinri, this is Shinri, right? Yeah. For Shinri, this is what I'm going with. So we have uh, Crescent Moon. So Seal of Thunder, Seal of Thunder. And I can actually take off this, remove this. Then you can actually add to the normal attack. So you can actually go there. These two are my priority. I could actually use this one, Hits Land. Hits landed on the enemies with Seal of Thunder deals 20% more damage. So, you can actually go with this. This is more damage. This is more on Seal of Thunder. This one. Okay, so I could probably go with... Hmm. This is a hard choice because you only have three to link up. So, if I remove this and I prioritize this, then those are my final, you know final codes that i will be using but again test it out try which whichever you know whichever suits your playing style your character um there is no no really right and wrong answer for this one this is just based on what do you think is important to you to to be buffed to give more stats so i'll try this out probably mix and match with red and blue for the codes and again guys um I, I won't have a specific you know specific line of imprint for you guys try to mix and match once you've unlocked everything try to mix and match what you can use um based on your playing style based on the character that you have okay guys so if you have any questions on aether codes um how to utilize them well please put them down in the comment section i'll be happy to answer them for you so thank you very much for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here